a little bit about stropping. Try and be brief, but we all know how that goes. All right, so here's my uh, trusty walking horse strop, right? And, um, you know, it's three inches wide. I don't know, maybe 20 inches of stropping space, 18, 20, something like that. It's a D-ring on the end, you know. Um, and as I've said before, usually I don't use D-ring. I just grab the strop like this, right? I stand behind this edge of a strop and I strop this way, all right? This to me is natural. Kind of feels like a brush stroke. Um, well, there's all kinds of brush strokes. But standing down here and stropping like this, it doesn't feel normal to me. As I go out, my hand tends to right up off of this. I suppose I could change the position of the strop, but it just, it's not my thing. But the pull here is natural because I'm pulling towards me. But like I said, I like the strop this way. And if you see my wrist down here, my fingers are canted, my hand is turned. You know, my wrist is, you know, twisted down. You know, it's it's fine, but it's not natural, okay? So I grab here, my wrist and arm are in a more natural position, all right? And um, I have natural stropping, you know. Th this feels natural to me, this is my thing. By no means am I trying to say everyone should strop this way. I'm just saying this is how I do it. This is more comfortable for me. All right. So, you know, I make strops and I've um, been struggling with, uh, you know, I make barbers ends and people write to me and they're like, how do you use that? And I tell them you grab it here and they're not comfortable with that. They want a D-ring. But if you let go of the D-ring, you know, it bangs into stuff. Well, here, you heard that, right? So, um, if you, let's say that's a tile wall. You could crack a tile. Uh, maybe somebody's sleeping in the next room. You're going to wake them up. But if you let go of a barber's end, it just lets go and it falls and it's just like, you know, kind of quiet. So, what I wanted to do was come up with something like in the middle. So, I made this, right? Now, what I have here is... Uh, sort of a final production. This is a steer height. The width is 2.75, two and three quarter inches. Right? The top has a uh, nice lobster clip, very wide gate. There's like almost nothing this can't grab onto that you might think of hooking it onto. And um, this loop here, the black leather is um, buffalo. It's been chamfered and burnished. Very supple. Uh, the rivets are uh, made here in the United States. These are nickel plated brass. Cost me a little bit more. But I feel good about buying them because I like spending my money here. And again, that's for me. You know, um, the leather has been burnished. I'm going to burnish it again, too, I think. Got some fuzzies here. Um, and it's been chamfered all along the edge, bevel, so the razor has a nice flat surface. And this is a little dry, it's a nice medium draw. But what I've done is make this handle. Now, you're probably saying, oh, well, I've seen these really elegant handles, they're like paddles with stitching and embossing and alligator skin and yeah fine whatever i'll get to um the actual handling of it in a second but for me that stuff is too bourgeois reminds me of something that i'm thinking i'd seen a movie in an 1890s brothel i don't like that stuff i like straight up like proletariat working man's gear All right no bullshit so that's what i have here another nice piece of buffalo 
more of those rivets. Very nice. Right? Okay. Now watch. Here's the grip. See that? I'll pull it out, see if you can see it. My hand again is natural. I'm pushing to the left a little bit to keep it taut, but it's not too much. And because my hand is in this natural position to my arm, I mean there's a little bend to it, but you know it's nothing extreme and it feels natural. And I've effectively created, right? See this? I've recreated that same type of barber's grip over here. Now, give it a couple of whirls. To me, this is perfect. Best of both worlds. Got a loop, a ring. For the most part, you could even hold it here like this, you know? And again, whichever way you find comfortable works for you, that's fine. I'll tell you the truth, 90% of the time I'm still going to use a barber's hand and grab it like this because that's what I'm used to. But I'm kind of really digging this too because this fits right into my hand. It's one inch wide. It's easy to grab, so I can do that. I can do this. I can do that if I wanted to. I could do both. You know? And if I was inclined to, I could come down here. Now I have a very simple loop. I'm not grabbing this way. My hand is naturally grabbing this, right? And if I wanted to do this thing, I could. It's one less distraction. I mean, the, the motion isn't normal to me here, but over here it's fine. You know, when I have this one, it's similar, you know, but, um, it still feels a little weird to me. My fingers feel bunched up. I got to put one, two, whatever. Look, I make them all different ways. I make them with rings, I make them with barber's ends, and now I'm making them with this app. So, um, kind of feel like I have the bases covered. I don't know. Let me know what you think.